Okay, so I made this template for uh, Likert scale analyses for social research. Um, I've put everything in annotations and I'm just going to go step by step and kind of uh, open this. Uh, the data that I'm using is not cleaned yet, so I also put these helper functions in so that you can clean it before the actual um, plotting. So here I'm just going to copy my path and then set it under the working directory. So you do that by set WD, put it in quotations, and then you can highlight both of these, press control F, and then just replace the backward slashes with forward slashes. You can do this whatever way you're comfortable with. After I do that, I like to list the files. So you just put the list files function, press control enter, and then you can see whatever files are in that folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this social research data XLSX. So for this, I'm going to need the ggplot2 library. I'm going to need the Likert library. And to read in the data, I'll need the read Excel. Read Excel. It's not showing up. Okay. There we go. Nope. Read Excel library. Okay. So now I need to read in the data. So I'll just call this dat. I don't like calling things data because there is a data function here in the utilities and that can cause problems. So we just call this dat. Use the read Excel function, read XLSX, because that is the format that it's in. And this is what I copied and pasted from my um, list files call. So we read in our data, and we can go ahead and look at that and see that we have all of this data. So I just want to take some of the Likert scale data out um, as the test here. So I'm going to find it right now. Uh, so we have, do you feel wildlife is essential? If we hover over this, we can see that it's column 22, right? So column 22, um, column 23, column 24, column 25, column 26, Okay, let's just do column 23 to column 26, uh, assuming that they have the same uh, same variables and things. I guess we'll find out. So column 23 to column 26, we're going to call this our, like, as in Likert data. The way we subset this is just... Um, by opening these square brackets on dat, that's the data set that we just read in. We're going to put a comma here because inside the brackets, this means the rows column, this means the columns column. So we're going to add a C as in a numeric vector. And then we're going to put rows 23 colon 26. This just means 23 to 26. All right, so then I look at the Likert data and it should have everything here. I'm going to quickly check with table to make sure that they're all kind of the same scale. We have no opinion, don't know, yes, and no. Um, if I look at the next one down, yeah, so they're generally on the same scale. So the first thing that we want to do is find and replace. So this is a data frame wide function um, using Laply. So we're just going to copy this and then put like and then paste it here. So where data frame is, this is our data frame. We're going to put like, that's the data frame. And we want to make this like a three-way standardized Likert scale. So we want it to be disagree, neutral, agree, right? 
So we're going to say that we want to find everything that says no, and then we're going to replace that with disagree. Okay, and then we're just going to copy this line and paste it two more times for the other Likert scale stuff. So we're going to say we want, uh, and I'll just say no opinion slash don't know. So no opinion slash don't know. And we're going to change that to neutral. neutral. And then we're going to change yes to Okay, and now we look at like again, and we should have agree, disagree, neutral. But then when I'm looking through these, I see it also says disagree, opinion, don't know. Um, I think that was just like a different way that they wrote um, neutral. So we're going to have to put a fourth argument in here and turn those into neutral as well. So this is basically just a data cleaning procedure. So then we're going to go to... Um, this disagree opinion don't know I think this was uh, an issue with translated data and then we'll put this to neutral also so if we look back we should have all of these that say disagree agree and neutral so then um, we have another helper function so the helper function will trim white space so I'm not sure if there's any white space here, but it's always good as like a cleaning technique just to make sure that you do it. So again, where it says data, you're going to put your data set there and trim white space is the function. So now we have our Likert function and we can have our Likert formatted data. Um, but first we actually have to put this into a um, factor so actually, I'm going to make another helper function here, and I'm going to say helper function three, set factor levels. So we're going to make an object called levs, and then we're going to make a character vector with disagree, neutral, neutral and agree. Okay, if we look at levs here, then we have this three factor levels. So now we have to kind of apply it across the data set, similar to what we've done here. So let's do that. Let's put like here. We're going to assign this across the entire data set of like. And our function is instead of g sub, that is the find and replace function, we want this to be factor. And we want the factor of x, which is our data set right here. And we want the levels to be set to levels. Okay, and if I look at this, or if I just um, read the structure of like, so we can see that it's a factor with three levels. So now it's in proper format. Uh, the last thing that we need to do is change the names because I see that there's periods in between the names and we don't want that. We want it just to be a sentence in the plot. So let's make a fourth helper function. So helper function or set names. So we use the names function on our like data set, and we can see all of the column names. And the column names in this case are just the questions that were asked. And usually that's good in the Likert scale questions because it'll show up in the plot as the questions. So we're going to set the names, and actually we're just going to g sub, the find and replace function essentially, and we're going to find periods and replace them with spaces. So now I'll just say names of like so now if I look at our data set oh everything's missing that is not what I wanted to happen okay so that happens sometimes uh, let's just not do that right now I'm not really sure why that happened so, I'm just not gonna do that. so just forget about this for right now um, I'll save that for another video 
So now we want to set our Likert data. So we press uh, Likert results. Okay, and this is the Likert function from the Likert package, and it formats the data for you. Um, oops, I have to put in like, that is our formatted data. That means that it has the factor levels and it's all standardized. Okay, if I look at our Likert results, it becomes an S4 object. And then the plot. So I essentially just want to uncomment all of these right here. And I'm gonna change the title to uh, wildlife perspectives and the number of responses you can do several different ways so one way if you want is to go length and then you just say like uh, and pick any column that you want Close the length wrong. okay and it has 810 that means there's 810 responses Otherwise, you can just go like this and go to the top right window and it says 810 observations. The observations is the length of your data frame and that means the length of your responses. So the plot, uh, we need a um, ggplot or a plot function. So the Likert package has the plot function built in. So we're using the Likert results. We want the text size to be 5. And you can incorporate ggplot functions into this. So I choose theme uh, BW because I like that. I think it's aesthetically looks better than the gray plot background of ggplot. The theme, so this just puts the legend position on the bottom. The standard default is on the right. Um, and then we change this to the title and change this n equals 810 responses. So we're going to run that. Um, and it's, oh, because I spelled like it wrong. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, and now we have, uh, we can zoom to this plot, and we can see that we have our questions, and we have our nice Likert scale graph. With disagree, neutral, and agree, and it's in um, descending order, so you can see the positive at the top and the most negative at the bottom. Okay, hope that helps.